Oh, I look sad. Oh yeah, because I made her sad. I made her lonely. I'm sorry. Lonely was not the one I thought that it would give me a boost, but apparently it didn't. Uh, so let's put some in law and resist magic. But So it seems like there's something going on because she's saying to ignore it. I assume that it's going to be helpful and it's going to be actually pretty good. So I want to know what it is now. You learn how to maintain a low level deflection field so that magical attacks not directly targeted at you will slide harmlessly aside. This doesn't need much power, so you can keep it up for long periods of time. You learn how to directly counter offensive magic with your own power so that you can burn out a spell that someone else has cast. This is very dangerous if the other spell is too powerful. Your increased skill and power gives you innate resistance and mind affecting magic. Fantastic, because that would probably be something that would happen to me. Just like get controlled by someone else. A lumen once tried to lift the curse from an enchanted spring whose water was poisonous and glowed green. After, after dispelling the magic, she tasted the water and fell dead. The green glow was not a curse, but a spell placed by a lumen long ago, long before, to warn everyone away from the spring's natural poison should have put a sign up like warning poisonous water then someone else wouldn't have come along and been like hey I'm gonna purify the water oh god a lumen may willingly surrender control of his or her magic to another this was how the Novan Empire came to dominate the world a growing force of lumens focused on a single ruler granting that king or queen immense power the ne 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 the negotiator for the rebels has arrived to speak with you. Surrender now and I will be lenient, or I will burn you with my laser beam. We are not here for our surrender, we're here for yours. Relinquish the authority of the throne and you will not be harmed. The Duchess of Ares and her family will rule Nova as regents. You will be allowed to maintain a figurehead title. Many lives will be spared and your domain will continue to in future in safer, wiser hands. Never! I am the Queen! Since we cannot come to an agreement, we will meet you on the battlefield. Fine. Uh, I know nothing about battling and fighting and stuff. Which isn't good. Possibly. Just possibly, I could go out and use my lumen powers. Will that help? Um, pressured. Pressured. I need to be pressured so that I'm not lonely anymore. Okay, so I'm yielding. Penalty to loom and now- oh, for Christ's sake. <sighs> At least I've got a bonus to that. Um, to mystical- no, faith, that's it. Um, so if I do some meditation, and wield magic, those are getting up higher, they're nearly done now. You learn to shape light into images of things that are far away, or things that don't exist at all. You discover that if you put yourself in the right frame of mind, you can really see with your eyes closed. You discover that if you put yourself into the right frame of mind, you can sense things happening in nearby rooms, even behind closed doors. Well, that's cool. There's nothing more to learn about medit- that was in meditation. War rages for control of Nova. As defending queen, you are required to take personal control of your forces. Oh, crap. However, your inexperience with strategy proves more of a hindrance than a help. Your control of magic enhances your claim to the divine right of rulership. Ah, awesome. Your lumen powers cause chaos among your enemies with explosive displays and waves of terror. You lack the strength to take on a whole army by yourself, of course, but they don't need to know that. Battles are won and lost, fallen soldiers decorating the landscape. The final outcome is unfortunately not in your favour. Your forces are overrun and the castle falls into Arisa's control. You're taking prisoner and locked into the deepest royal dungeon under heavy guard. You're still alive for now, but no longer the ruler. Bugger. And so the reins of power slipped from Elodie's grasp. Nova would have to go on without her. But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and Elodie's star may rise again. Okay, so I think I'm going to load this one. Uh... I can't remember how far back I am. Uh, how do I get angry? I know I need to be angry. Um, and I should probably start putting some into military. <laughs> Hopefully that will help. Uh, 
are. I've got the suit thing on. So let's go military, strategy, military, logistics. Because we're not fighting at sea. Um, we've already done all this in the last thing. She's declared civil war. Sudbury's my friend. I'm going to try pardoning the criminals. Alright, let's do that. Criminals probably already know how to fight. Very well. Uh, let's see what happens. They're probably going to go against me, but there's not much I can do because I need to see if I can survive this. Uh, I need to be pressured. Penalty to weapons and lumen. But I don't need that right now. I need to survive. Uh, so yeah, strategy and logistics again. Negotiator is here. We're not surrendering. I am the queen. Um, no, we want to be angry. Slightly. Hmm. Uh, I'm still yielding. Let's go to the treasury. That'll get rid of some of that. I have money. Woo! Um. Let's try... A little bit in wield magic, because that helped with the actual fighting, didn't it? In case my strategy isn't enough. Uh, let's put some more- yeah, and keep that in strategy. I'm too yielding for that. Defending queen, you're required to take personal control. Control of magic enhances your claim. Opposing forces flee in panic when faced with rays of burning light. Battles are won and lost. Fallen soldiers decorating the landscape. The final outcome is a victory for your side. Perfect, we won. Your forces sweep through the rebellious duchies and are met with cheers by the local population. Arise, the ringleader, is executed and the other rebels forced to pay tribute to keep their holdings. Of course, there's also a cost paid in lives. Total casualties were one and three quarters battalions on your side and almost one and a half battalions among the rebels. Your strong composition and strategy made you able to win despite your losses. Of course, there are no more rebel soldiers now. They are once more your loyal subjects. Brilliant. I'm going to save here. Again. No, I don't want to quit. I pressed the wrong button. Here we go. Uh, now I've saved. I won't lose that. I won. Whew. Let's go back to learning Lumen stuff again. Um, Willful. I can't remember what it was that... Uh, well, there's no, there's no, um, minus to them, so that's good. So, sense magic, and... Oh, yeah, my... That's gone down again now, so... Meditation again. There we go. Let's get this back up. Things have been so unsettled. Everyone's on the edge. We need something cheerful. Tournament. What a good idea. Musicians offer prizes. I've got lots of money. I'm going to give them gold. A purse of gold for the champions. Very well. I will draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Oh, this is the chocolate bit. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves and one blossom have shriveled. Divination, success. A leaf killed by a secret we weakness. A hidden threat. You continue up the stairs to your room where a maid is waiting for you. Uh, my, I said that a bit weird. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kigal. From the Duke? No, my lady. A merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Cavallo River. You tear open the brightly coloured paper to find chocolates. Chocolate producers in Kigal usually ship goods down the Napo River through Ursul, not straight to the capital. This merchant house probably specialises in something else and only traded for the chocolate. There's a little card within the box. With our compliments, the House of Kraliat. Save it for later. I'm not eating it. I don't feel like candy right now. Maybe later. Not eating it. Nope. Not, not, not wanting it. There's something I don't understand. What is it? Magical po- Oh, it's this again. Oh, it's because I saved and I haven't done it yet. Skin begins to glimmer. Okay, I've done that. Keep pushing. I want to know. There we go. Uh... Don't you dare ever eat those sweets, Elodie. You little idiot. <laughs> um, resist magic and law. Here we go. 
Uh, yeah, we'd seen that, the law. And seen that too. This is the week of the general tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. The people will be pleased if you participate in their games. However, it could expose you to danger. No, would. What event do you wish to take part in? Mm, I'm not good at any of those. Can I just show off my magic? Jousting, fencing, archery, music. Uh, let's try music, because it'll make the people happy, and even though I'm crap at it, I can play the glockenspiel. Take your place in line for the bardic contest. You aren't trained in any instrument, and it's pro that's appropriate for setting like this. You have to sing a cappella. Oh, they're not letting me play my glockenspiel. <laughs> Faced with such an audience, your voice fades away to nothing. Not a promising result. All the winners are announced and display displayed to great cheers. As near queen, you place flower garlands around their necks. All of a sudden, a man approaches the winner's platform. Uh-oh. It's Kevin, the Earl of Ire. In one hand, he carries an armoured gauntlet, in the other, a sword. My family's blood is on your hands. I don't remember what I did to you. Aris, the ringleader of rebellion. She was his mother. Oh. It's not my fault, she declared civil war on me. He casts the metal glove to the ground with a clatter and raises his sword, pointing it at you. I challenge you, Elodie, a life for a life. Is he challenging you to a duel? Doesn't he know you could burn him to a crisp just by waving your hand? I can accept, refuse, or kill him with magic. I'm gonna save it again. Uh, there we go. I'm going to try accepting his duel rather than just automatically killing him, killing him with magic. If I die, then I will kill him with magic. Um, very well, I will meet your challenge. As the challenge party, of the choice of weapons. Swords or staves? Oh, jeez. Um, staves? I would prefer not to kill you, but I will defend myself. He snarls at you. You can almost see foam escaping from the curl of his lip. But he allows the attendants to replace his sword with a marginally less lethal weapon. The crowd roars with excitement as you take up positions from across across from each other. His first strike nearly knocks you off your feet. He's larger, heavier, and his rage fills him with great strength. This may have been a miscalculation, which is why I saved. The quarterstaff looks like a simple weapon to wield, but handling it in a combat situation against someone who's truly trying to kill you is another matter entirely. I was hoping you'd just use magic on him. The last thing you feel is a blinding pain in your head. I died. Okay, he like smashed my brains out with a stick, basically. Okay. Well, we're gonna load here. Oh, that was close. Uh, here. And we're gonna kill him with magic. Show off our power. Without further word, you direct the full force of your magical wrath at the Earl of Io. There's a horrible scream and the smell of burning flesh. I decline. Kevin's sword falls to the ground beside his gauntlet. He won't be needing either anymore. After the tournament, a minor tragedy is revealed. One of the stewards apparently had an incredible sweet tooth and dared to steal a piece of your recently received chocolates. He had a sweet tooth. The chocolates were poisoned. Great. Good thing I didn't eat them. You're cheerful because he died? But, uh... Let's go talk to Adair. Now everyone knows how strong I am, so hopefully no one will try and go against me again. You find Adair digging a hole under a bush in the garden. Uh, hi Elodie. What are you doing? Nothing. You've been busy a lot lately. It suddenly occurs to you that no one has told Adair what's been going on to you. You went to war with his family, you had his stepmother executed, and he has no idea. Break the news gently. As best as you can, you explain the conflict and how Arisa's death was necessary to prevent the pe preserve the peace in Nova. It's hard to tell how much he understands, because he goes completely silent and doesn't speak to you for the rest of the day. Well, it's better than lying to him, really, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, wield magic. And... Meditation. Here we go. You discover that if you can... Oh yeah, I've seen that. Nothing more to learn about meditation. Nothing more to learn about wielding magic. I'm pretty sure I've seen that one too. Father wishes to speak with you. He says it's urgent. Fine, I'm coming. You find your father standing over a map of the coastline, his face grave. Ships have been sighting, uh, sighted and approached from Shanjia. Not trade ships, this is a war fleet. What? 
Within a week, they'll be in Novum waters. Within two, they could reach the capital. Then we will... F Pardon me? Then we will fight to defend ourselves. You can try to use the treasury funds to hire additional soldiers, but it may be difficult on such short notice. Recruit soldiers. That sounds like a good idea. Fine, we'll do that. What about Ixion? After I gave up territory to them, they owe us a favour. Send them a message as fast as possible. If they accept your request, they may be able to provide aid. You'll need to draw up a naval strategy for our ships to carry out. You could choose to act as Admiral and lead the fleet in person, but the danger to you would be very great. Unless you think your personal skills will make the difference, I would strongly advise against it. I'm going to stay in the capital, because I know nothing about naval warfare. And I'm pretty much crap in battle anyway. No, there's too much to do here. I can't go to sea. Uh... What, what, what? Let's make you less depressed. Here we go. Skills! Oh, look how close law is. I'm gonna have to put a lesson into law just to get that- Oh, that's annoying. Divination. And... Sense magic. You learn that priestesses have other ways of requesting omens from the gods, but that they won't share them with someone who is not initiated into the mysteries. Dun Divination. You expand your senses, learning to detect spells and magical creatures at greater distance. You learn to detect lingering traces of strong magic from the past, even when the spell has long since completed. And nothing more to sen about sense magic. Danger on the high seas. Everything's happening now. Ships close in on each other, angling into range. Your ships, but not Ixion's, they did not see fit to respond to your request for aid. Oh, dicks. The Shangian forces greatly outnumber the Novans. This is unlikely to end well. If only you had more soldiers available. The eventual outcome is not in your favour. The Novan ships are sunk or scattered as the Shangian forces press towards landfall. Many good soldiers were lost today, and Nova's troubles may not have ended. Since you have failed to repel the invasion, the Shangian fleet will soon land and their troops will begin to progress towards your capital city. Your remaining soldiers will hold them off for as long as possible, of course, but the main strength of your military has been exhausted. Nova's future looks bleak. See, at least I wasn't on the ship, because I would have gone down with it and then there'd have been no hope. Psst. I need to talk to you. What is it? That priestess, Selene. She's a lumen. I can sense it. I know. What do you mean, you know? If you knew that, why didn't you tell me? You didn't need to know. Your job is managing the domain. Some of us have other duties. Our missions have been passed down for centuries, little princess. Where did she get a crystal? All the lumens in the domain were supposed to have been wiped out 200 years ago. Except for your ancestor. We're here to train you. You don't need to know any more than that. Uh, I'm going to save again. <laughs> um, I want to know... <laughs> your, du your duty is to me and to Nova. Renegade Lumens pose a threat to the entire domain. If there's a secret cabal of magic users, I need to know about it. There is no cabal. Selene and yourself and I are the only Lumens that I know. 200 years ago, my ancestor accepted public disgrace so that the one trained Lumen would survive when all others perished. We've borne that shame ever since, to preserve the training and law for the future of Nova. Do not, do not tell me of my duty. Princess, oh, do not tell me of my duty, Princess. I am sworn not to Queens, but to Nova. Queens die. The magic must not. Oh. She has a point, I guess. It wasn't a very nice way of putting it, though. So, just because it's going to annoy me, Law, and I think it's Resist Magic that I need? Yeah, Resist Magic. And I can also change the outfit into something else. Why not? Because I have nothing else. Um... Yeah, law and resist magic. Yeah, I, d I did change some of it. It's now believed that strong magical power tracks danger. Therefore, after the Doom Shadow was banished, the crystals of the fallen dukes and du duchesses were destroyed. Only the crown and the duchy of Ursul maintain active lumens. Your understanding of the flow of power gives you increased resistance to damage caused by magic, even without a shield. You can still be hurt, but less than an ordinary human would be. Nothing more about resist, um, yeah, resist magic. The invasion of Nova is proceeding. Your coastline is under Shangian control. Soldiers have marched through villages, trampling fields, and frightening citizens. 
Well, that's not great. Need to talk to whoever's doing this and sort him out. A diplomatic delegation from Shanjia has requested access to the castle to d discuss terms, most likely for your surrender. You lack the strength to hold off their armies, and surrendering now will save many lives. It would seem that you have no choice. You, pre pre you prepare yourself as best as you can to meet with a representative from Shanjia. You expected diplomats and a military representative, a general or an admiral. You did not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who now stands before you, a man announced by your servants as Tagami, king of Shanjia. He came himself. Is he really their king? Why would a king come all the way here? And he's a lumen too. My dear young lady, how difficult this must be for you. So much responsibility at such a tender age. Don't pretend to be my friend while you're killing my people. Temper, temper, princess. After all, I am here to save your people. War benefits no one, don't you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to settle things in a civilized manner. A contest. A game, so to speak, with Nova as the stakes. Should I win, then your domain will submit and accept me as overlord with no further resistance. I'm gonna save again. Just in case. Should I lose, then my army will leave your domain in peace and shed no more blood. Oops, wrong button. What sort of game? It's well known that Nova is ruled by Lumens. As it happens, I too possess the powers of a Lumen. I propose a formal duel. My powers against yours. The winner takes control of Nova. The loser dies. Your game by your rules for my life? That doesn't sound fair to me. The rules of formal dueling have been passed down for centuries and must be upheld. It's important that we do this by the ancient codes. Why should I? If you refuse, then the war will continue. I'll sweeten the deal. If you can meet me in a formal Lumen challenge, I'll call off the invasion even if I win. Really? I swear it by the gods. Nova will be free and safe. Why take that whisk? risk? Whisk. You're winning the war! It's not your land that I want, it's your crystal. To gain your power, I am willing to wage my own. Shall we begin? I can sense his power. It's so strong. But I have the strongest of everything that I can. So I'd be surprised if I couldn't win. Unless I need like reflexes and stuff too. I've learned everything I possibly could, but he's at least as good as I am. I don't like this, but what choice do I have? Accept his terms. Then I must. Tagami explains the rules of formal dueling to you, including a carefully inscribed circle of wards which will contain the effects of any powers you wield, protecting bystanders from danger. And then it's time to begin. You trade attacks, one spell sensed and countered by another, reserving your strength as much as possible. It might almost be exciting if your life weren't on the line. You need to end this quickly before his experience allows him to come up with a trick you can't defeat. He's used to dealing with magic attacks, but you might not be expecting a physical one. Oh, I haven't got anything in physical things. Perhaps if you rushed him, you could take him off guard? Up close, he couldn't use his fancy spells, but what would you do then? You still have to use magic to win. You can't just grab him and bang his head against the floor. <laughs> Perhaps you could focus your power into the shape of a sword and attack him with that. Or if you could distract him somehow, you could cast a spell that he couldn't block? Dazzle him. I don't, I don't have anything in swords, so... You throw a dazzling shower of sparkles, hoping to blind him and seize the advantage. It doesn't work, because I have no decoration. Swirls of dark smoke rise from the floor at your feet, spinning around you like a black hurricane. You know you have to stop it, but how? It's all around you and there's nothing to target. Faster and faster it spins, making it hard to breathe, until finally everything goes dark. I think I died. Yeah, I died. Great. Uh, I'm gonna load again. Oh, that was close. I keep nearly saving over the top. Skip ahead. I'm gonna accept his terms. I'm gonna try and use the magic sword. Motes of shimmering moonlight coalesce into a weapon in your hand. You lunge, but he ducks under your blade and rolls away. Before you can regain, regain your target, he summons up a shield of red fire that surrounds him totally. Now it ends. The fire sweeps forward, devouring your vision. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Let's load... again. What happens if I refuse? 
If my crystal is more important than my land, then I can never let you have it. Then you and your land will die together. Goodbye, little princess. For a moment, you fear he will blast you right then and there, but it seems that he still respects the truce. He and his delegation return to the army where they will resume the attack. Your military strength is nearly exhausted. Utter defeat seems inevitable. What will you do now? Uh, meet with advisors. My lumen crystal. That's what this war was all about. Everyone who's died. The price of magic is always blood. That doesn't matter now. We cannot allow the Royal Novan Crystal to fall into Shanjian hands. Well, what do we do? We don't have enough army left to fight him. You must flee. Leave the palace and disappear into the countryside. Alone? In a war? All Novan Lumens will go together. This king of Shanji does not realise how deep the power of Nova runs. He may be a Lumen, but he is only one. Given enough time to pre prepare, we can find a way to defeat him. Go on the run while he destroys my land and my people in his search. As long as I have this crystal, he'll be after me. I I'm not going to give him my crystal. I, I am going to save, though. So then I can always see what happens. Flee. It's the only way. I have to abandon the castle to save the crystal. Father, I'm sorry. I've let you down. I won't let you leave. Not without me. I'm coming with you. I may still have a way to be useful. Come, we must move quickly. You will no longer be a princess. You must leave behind your crown, your tutors, and your pampered way of life. You may have to sleep in the woods, disguise yourself as a peasant, even murder those you meet to keep them from telling tales. You can only hope that someday it'll all be worth it. Oh, and so the reins of power slipped. Um, so again, I, I didn't... I didn't make it to the coronation. What happens if I remove the crystal? It would be a lot easier to hide just the crystal than to hide me, wouldn't it? It's too late for that. The crystal is bound to you. As long as I live, I know. Goodbye. Oh! Elodie, no! He grabs hold of your arms, shaking you slightly. You're the only thing I have left. I don't care what you've done, you're my daughter. I will not let you die. We're leaving here together, all of us. I'll look after you. I'll help you. There are still ways I can be useful. Come, we must move quickly. And then you get that ending again. Um. Okay. So, I'm a little bit stuck. Again. Offer to give him my power? What happens? Wait, there's another way. If you want my power, I can give it to you. You don't have to kill me to take my crystal. I'll let you do whatever you want with it. You would willingly submit to my every demand? Yes. Let us see. He points a finger at your father. Join your power to mine, and I will incinerate him. Then I will know that you are mine. I can't do that. And that's why we must duel. Oh. I, I, don't, I can't win. <laughs> I can't win. I've come to the end of this thing, and I can't win. So, I think I'm going to go back another time, back a little way, and put some stuff into maybe swords, and see if I can then beat it. And if I do find a way of beating it, I'll record it again and show how you can actually beat it with the path that I've actually taken. But for now, I think I'm going to have to leave it here, because I keep dying or running away. So, thank you very much for watching, but see you again soon.